In this video, I'll show you how to solve angle of depression problems in right triangles. Question 1 asks, from the top of a vertical cliff that overlooks the ocean, a person measures the angle of depression of a boat at sea as 9 degrees. The height of the cliff is 142 meters. How far is the boat from the base of the cliff? We'll start off by drawing a diagram of what's been described. So what we have is a cliff. So picture this as a cliff. And there's a person standing at the edge of the cliff and they are overlooking the cliff at an angle of depression of nine degrees to a boat that's far away and the angle of depression this is a common word that students have a hard time with most students think of it as this angle and let's pretend that this is a right triangle here so most students will mistake in this as the nine degrees here but that's incorrect the angle of depression for this case actually so if we were to draw a horizontal line going this way that is parallel to the sea I want you to use your imagination here so this line right here is parallel to this and we have a 90 degree triangle the angle of depression here is this angle 9 degrees it's not this one and this is summarized in this illustration here so here's our observer and the angle of depression is always this one, not this one. So to answer this question, they want us to find out how far the boat is from the base of the cliff. So we need to find out what this is. Now, of course, given that this also makes a 90 degree triangle, what we could do is find out the length of this side using one of our trigonometric ratios. We know that the height of the cliff is 142 meters that applies to both of these lines so to find out what this length is we need to use one of the trigonometric ratios we have sine cosine and tangent to choose from we are looking for adjacent and we have the opposite the only trigonometric ratio that relates those two is tangent so remember tangent is equal to opposite over the adjacent we know what our opposite is it's 142 relative to this nine degrees we don't know what our adjacent is. I'm going to replace that ADJ with an A. And we do know the angle to be 9 degrees. So now we'll use our calculator to calculate A. Make sure that your calculator is in degrees. Mine currently is not. So to change it, you would click Shift, Mode, and for me it's 3. So I have tangent, 9 degrees on my left side. On my right side, I have the unknown at the bottom. So what we'll have to do is multiply first of all both sides by a and this will get rid of the a on the right side and then divide both sides by tangent 9 I'm gonna write down 142 divided by tangent 9 and I end up with 896.55 so a is equal to 896.55 meters to summarize what just happened here the boat is 896.55 meters away from the edge of the cliff. Let's try to tackle another question similar to this. From the top of a vertical cliff that overlooks the ocean, a person measures the angle of depression of a lighthouse as 16 degrees. From the base of the cliff to the lighthouse is 189 meters. How high is the cliff? So this time we have another cliff and the person is at the edge once again. And there is a lighthouse. And we are told that the angle of depression, so he is looking down to the base of the cliff, so his eyes are oriented to the base of the cliff at an angle of depression of 16 degrees. So once again, that will be representing our 16 degrees, and that right there is parallel to the ocean. So you can kind of observe that this is a right triangle, and of course, if you look at it this way, this is also a right triangle. We are told that from the base of the cliff to the lighthouse is 189 meters. And so therefore this should also be 189 meters. What we have to find is the height of this cliff. To do this we can simply find this. This time if we take 16 as a reference angle, the opposite is the height of the cliff and the adjacent is the distance from the base of the cliff to the base of the lighthouse. So we're going to use tangent again. 
tangent of 16 degrees is equal to the opposite, which is what we're looking for. I'm going to denote it as x. You can denote it as any letter. And the adjacent is 189. To find my x, we multiply both sides by 189, and we are done. So tangent 16 times 189 gives us 54.19 meters. So to conclude our findings, the cliff is 54.19 meters high. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to solve angle of depression problems using right triangles. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.